Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. This is your friend and tutor Manas. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. A ball of weight W resting upon a smooth plane is attached at its center to two strings which pass over smooth pulleys and carry loads P and Q. Find the angle defining the position of equilibrium and the reaction between the ball and the horizontal surface. So first of all, let me explain you this entire arrangement. So there is a ball okay which has been kept onto a smooth plane and this ball actually is in contact over here here you can see this contact okay now since it is in contact with this smooth plane this plane is going to offer it some sort of reaction okay in the upper direction so let us right now see that this reaction is given by say r all right so this ball is being pulled in the right hand side direction okay and the name of this force is obviously p and at the same time this ball also is being pulled in slightly in the left hand side direction somewhere along this direction and the name of this force is q all right so these are the two pulleys okay at a and b now what we're going to do is uh, this particular line please see with the mass is hovering this line and this line both of them are absolutely parallel and you can say that this line BC acts as a transversal. If that is the case and this is angle theta, so this angle shall also work out as theta. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and compute the values of theta for equilibrium position. So we have to find the angle. Uh, let, let me circle this. We have to find the angle defining the position of equilibrium and at the same time we have to find this reaction between the ball and the horizontal surface so i'll use a different color for this purpose i always do so i use this blue color okay so we have this equation of equilibrium summation of all the forces in x direction is equal to zero but before doing this i need to resolve this force q into two components one component is going to be in this direction okay so this is going to be what you call q cos theta and one more component is going to be along this direction this is what you call q sine theta q sine theta okay so any force towards the right shall be taken as positive any force towards the left shall be taken as negative so p is towards the right and hence has to be taken as positive q sine theta is towards the left and hence has to be taken as negative so let us write p minus q sine theta is equal to zero and you can say that sine theta works out as p over q and if you were to calculate the value of theta then theta should be equal to sine inverse p over q so this is the angle defining the position of equilibrium so let me put this into a box well that's it now we are going to use one more equation of equilibrium okay and that is what do you call summation of all the forces in the y direction is equal to zero. Now, if you watch carefully, these two forces are in the upper direction that is R and Q cos theta and hence they, they have to be taken as positive. So let's write them down R plus Q cos theta. Okay. Um, minus W is equal to zero. So this is directed in the downward direction and hence has to be taken as negative. So minus W is equal to obviously zero. And if you take a quick look at this equation that we have made earlier, then you can say that or you can conclude that Q sine theta is equal to P. Okay, so you can take this as equation number one. And if you try to tweak, slightly tweak this equation, and we can have the value of Q cos theta equals to W minus R. So you can take this as equation number two. What we want right now is this reaction. This is something that we have to calculate. We have to calculate the value of r okay this r and right now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be squaring and adding equation number one square plus equation number two square and on doing so i'm going to obtain this so q square sine square theta q square sine square theta plus this one q square cos square theta q square cos square theta is equal to over to this side rhs p square of p is obviously p square plus w minus r so 
in totality i shall write this as w minus r square okay so what's next the best thing to do is take q square as common and when you do so you have a trigonometric identity in front of you sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to p square plus um, in brackets w minus r whole square so you know very well sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so q square into 1 is equal to q square and q square is equal to p square plus w minus r whole square we need the value of reaction r okay so what basically we're going to be doing is let me do this w minus r whole square is equal to q square minus p square okay then i want to remove this square sign what i'm going to do is let me write it over here w minus r is equal to root over q square minus p square now you can get the value of r r will be equal to w r we will shift r over here and q square minus p square over here and doing so we're going to have the value of reaction r is equal to w minus root over q square minus p square so this is the value of the reaction at this particular point okay that's it so guys that was all from my side for today if you like the content and presentation in this video do give it a big thumbs up and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit i'll see you again with a new problem until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep learning